Good morning, children of God. Hello. There at home, I hope you're well and you can hear me and see me here well as we are going to learn and uh, pray and listen to what God is going to speak to us today when you are just at home through our media platform. But by the way, please next Sunday make sure you come to church. If you have got nothing that can prevent you to come to church, please make sure you come to church. We fellowship together because we have other children coming to church. Okay? And just today you are maybe at home, that's why we have prepared this, so that you, can not, you may not miss what others are learning in Sunday school. But I will wish and I will be so happy to see you next Sunday coming to church. Are you ready to come to church next Sunday? How many will come? Give me a high five. Wow, good. So before we proceed... I just want us to pray, and from there, we continue with our lesson today, and I know God is going to bless us all. Are we together? Yes. Hands together. Hands together. We are praying. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you this morning. We come to you, O oh Lord, with thanksgiving our hearts. Because, Father, you have been good to us. You have shown us your mercies. You have shown us your love. And, Father, you have nothing to pay back but just to give you thanks. Lord, we say that you may come. As we are preparing our hearts to listen to you today, that, Father, let your Holy Spirit come and reign, come and take over. Father, that when we learn whatever we're going to learn all this morning, Lord, shall be of beneficial in our lives. And Father, especially these children and those children at home that are listening to us. We thank you, Jesus, because you've been wonderful to us and you're so faithful, oh my Lord. You've never forsaken us in any way. We want to thank you even this uh, time of pandemic, oh Lord. You've been able to protect us, oh my Father. And we give you glory because, Lord, you deserve it. Father, these children that are here, oh my Lord, and even those that are at home watching us from home, King of Glory, I pray that, Lord, you may cover them with your precious blood. And for those who are maybe feeling unwell, Lord, you may touch them, oh God, and heal them. Bless their parents, oh my Father. Provide for their parents so that you may provide for them. And please, King of Glory, I pray that, Lord, you may take control of every situation of these children because you understand their lives better than we do, my Father. And that's why, oh Lord, we dedicate them to you so that, Father, you may have a control of their lives. Father, let them live, walk, knowing that, Father, you are there and you are a true God. We thank you and we bless your name. It is in Jesus' name. I do believe and pray. Can someone say amen? Amen. Good. Wow. For those who maybe have forgotten my name or those who are having new friends at home watching together, my name is Teacher Caleb or you can call me Teacher Osore. Are we together? Yes, Teacher Caleb is my name. And I love Jesus, my personal savior, because God is good to me. Jesus has been good in my life, and that's why I love him. And forever and ever, I will walk with my Jesus, and I will remain with my God. How many of us are also promising to do that? Yes, thank you so much. Living with Jesus, loving God, is the best thing you can ever do on earth. Just live knowing God is good and he loves you. So you just have to love him too. Are we together? Say amen. Are we together? Yes. Thank you so much. So today we are going to learn about setting boundaries. Say setting boundaries. Repeat it again. Yes, setting boundaries. And this one is a topic we are, we are learning from the, the major topic of purity. 
where we learn that we need to be pure. As children of God, we need to live a pure life, a life that has got no uh, bad things and bad actions, a life that is good and pleasing towards our God. Are we together? Yes, because God wants us to be pure. Say God wants me to be pure. Repeat that again. Very good. Yes, God wants you to be pure. So that when you are pure, you are clean. Say clean. Repeat that again. Clean. Yes, so that you are clean. And when you are clean, God accepts you holy. Every part of you, God takes it. You belong to God, and God walks with you. God says, this is my daughter. God says, this is my son. And he walks with you in every place and every step you make in life. He is with you. So I want us to learn about setting boundaries. We want to know what is this setting boundaries? What do we need to do at certain point? What do we not need to do? And what are we supposed to do at the right time, right place? Yes, we need to learn that today. And I'm praying that you may listen to me because you are going to learn a very interesting thing that you'll never forget in your life and it will help you from today until the day you'll be old. Yes, whatever you're going to learn here, it will help you from today until the day you'll grow old. A hundred and forty years plus. How many of us want to live a hundred and forty years? Wow, yes, that's a blessing. Yes, yes, thank you so much. So, our lesson, we are going to get it from the book of Genesis. Say Genesis. Genesis, very good. Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 to 12. Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 to 12. How many of you have Bibles? Please raise your Bible I want to see. I can see through the screen. I can see. And if you don't have, I can also see you don't have. Raise yours. Yes. Uh -huh. And yours? What about yours? Where's your Bible? No, you, I know you have. What about yours? No, I'm asking that one. What about yours? Ah, good. Yes, make sure next Sunday you have your Bible. When coming to church or when even at home, you want to, 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 to get us through the media, please make sure you have your Bible because the Bible is a tool we need to have every time we are ready for prayer and listening to God. Are we together? Thank you. So, I want you to open the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verse 1 to 12. Before you open, just hold your Bible. Hold your Bible. Thank you. So, I'm going to repeat the reading, and then you open once. Are you ready? Everybody, yes. So long as you have a Bible. Thank you. Genesis chapter 39 verse 1 to 9. Genesis chapter 39, verse 1, 2, <laughs> 12. Very good. Yes. Are you there? Are you there? And you? Ah, good. I want to read... And as I'm reading, I want you to read your Bible too, so that we go together, we understand together the readings, so that when I'll be explaining, you know what I'm talking and where is coming from from the Bible. 
Are we together? So when I'm reading, you need also to read. Okay? Okay? Hello? Hello, hello? Yes. So, if you are there, the Bible says, Genesis chapter 39 verse 1, now the Ishmaelites had taken Joseph to Egypt and sold him to Potiphar, one of the king's officers who was the captain of the palace guard. The Lord was with Joseph and made him successful. He lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Who saw that the Lord was with Joseph and had made him successful in everything he had or he did? Potiphar was pleased with him and made him his personal servant. So he put him in charge of his household and everything he owned. Wow. From then on, because Joseph... The Lord blessed the whole household of the Egyptian and everything that he had in his house and in his field. Potiphar turned over everything he had to the care of Joseph and did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. Joseph was well built, huh? was well built and good looking, was handsome. Wow. How many of you are handsome or beautiful? Good. And after a while, his master's wife began to desire Joseph and ask him to go to bed with her. But Joseph refused. He refused and said to her, Look, my master does not have to concern himself with anything in the house because I am here. He has put me in charge of everything he has. I have as much authority in this house as he has and he has not kept back anything from me except you. How then could I do such an immoral thing and sin against God? Although she asked Joseph day after day, he would not go to bed with her. But one day when Joseph went into the house to do his work, none of the house servants was there. She caught him by his robe and said, come to bed with me. But he escaped and ran outside, leaving his robe in her hand. Now, this is the story of Joseph. We've learned about Joseph in different ways and other stories. But here is a different, totally different story about Joseph that we need to know and learn how to work with it. Now, Joseph here, he was blessed, by the way. Joseph was blessed by God just from the word go. So, God used Joseph in many ways. And God wanted to bless other people through Joseph. Because in Joseph, God saw something. God saw something in Joseph when he was just still young. The same way you are young like this. God has seen something good in you. Say, something good in me. Repeat that. Again, something good in me. So, Joseph had something. Maybe other people could not have seen what God had seen in Joseph. But God saw Joseph as a different uh, uh, child, as a blessing to other nations or a blessing to other people. So, he used Joseph to bless other people and he made sure that Every way that Joseph went, every step that Joseph made, every place that Joseph sat or slept, it was a good and safe place for Joseph to survive. 
And here now the, these people, they sold Joseph. You can imagine. Can you imagine you being sold to someone? Or you being sold to another country? Not even someone, to another country. Can you imagine someone that just come? Ah, we don't want Shiko. Let's take Shiko to Uganda. We don't want Njeri. Let's take Njeri to Tanzania. We don't want uh, Mike. What's your name? Yes, Mike. We don't want Mike. Let's take Mike to, to, to where? To Ethiopia and sell him there. Can you imagine that scenario? Is it good or bad? Yes, it is bad. Can you know Joseph was sold? But in that event of being sold, these people, they never knew Joseph was working and walking with God. God was with Joseph in every place that he went. And instead of Joseph, he was sold as a slave. Do you know who a slave? Do you know? A person who is just working for other people without payment. Maybe the only thing you'll be given is food. Yes. That's what people wanted Joseph to become. But let me tell you, our God is very faithful. Say faithful. Yes. Our God is very faithful in that even Joseph walking into that place, a new place that he was sold. So I'm sure he was looking around, looking at people, wondering where he is, wondering what will happen. Maybe someone will come and beat him or someone will come and cut his neck. So he was just confused. But God, through that situation, eh? through that event, he came in and he blessed the way of Joseph. So, can you imagine, now the master himself, say the master, yes, master comes and looks at Joseph, and he says, ah, my son, I want to put you in charge of everything here. Wow, can you clap to that? It was a good thing, clap, clap, yes, yes. Can you imagine the master came and looked at Joseph and said, no, I will put you in charge of everything. Everything that I have and I own. And Joseph was like, wow, yeah. And Joseph was a good boy. He never misused the opportunity. You know, when God gives you an opportunity, you should not misuse it. Are we together, children of God? Are we together? Yes. When God gives you an opportunity. For example, God has given you an opportunity, an opportunity to listen to, to listen to his word. So you're not supposed even to make noise, to talk to people. You have to listen and listen so that God can bless you more and more and more. Say amen. Yes. Now Joseph became a blessing. He became a blessing. So what people maybe could have wondered that maybe a bad thing would have happened to Joseph. No, it was different. Now Joseph, he becomes a good boy in the house of the master. He eats well. He builds muscles like this mine. Are you seeing this, my muscles? Yes, even these ones. Huh? These are not muscles. Ah, well. They are what? <laughs> yes. So Joseph was muscular and he had muscles. Can I see your muscles? Boys, can I see your muscles? Do this. Can I see your muscle? Ah, good. Yes. Joseph had that, those muscles. Eh? And then he was handsome, looking very good. And then can you imagine now the, pot, the, 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 the master's wife? Can you imagine the master's wife? He starts now misleading Joseph. He tells Joseph bad things. He wants to sleep with him. Gosh! Kai! Say gosh! Hey. Say no! Yes, no! Can you imagine? The master's wife tells Joseph you want to sleep with, with him. That is bad. That is too bad, yes? Yes, it is too bad. Or oh, that is good. Yeah, no, no, it's not good. It is too bad. 
But Joseph, because he loved God, and he said, I'm going to work for my God, and I'm going to trust my God who has given me good health, who has given me these muscles. I'm not going to use these muscles in a bad way. Yes, but I will use the muscles to praise my God, to, 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 to be thankful to him. And he said, no, I cannot do that. He refused, he refused. Even the, this wife tried even to, 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 to close the room that they were in with Joseph. Joseph ran away. Akwambia alitoka kijiko, eh? Alitoka. Ndio. Eh? Joseph alifanya nini? Alikimbia. Sema kimbia. Yes. He ran away. Sometimes you have to run away from bad things. Don't wait those things to happen and then you start say, "Oh, I wish I knew." No. When you see there is fire there, run away to a safe a safe place, okay? When you see this water coming, ah, brrr, don't wait and see it. Uh, no, run away to a safe place. Okay? Yes. And even when you're on the road, when you see cars and vehicles moving at high speed, oh, just tell yourself, I'm not going to cross there. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not going to cross there. I'll go back home or I get someone to help me to cross the road. All together. Yes, don't risk yourself and don't let yourself be around where there's bad things happening. Are we together? Run away? Say run away. Good. Now, by the way, I want you to tell me or mention to me which areas at home are you not supposed, maybe you need to put boundaries. Yes? Oh, you've not understood about boundaries. Yeah, I said now, boundaries is keeping a distance from something that you're not supposed to relate or to have, like yours. You must put boundary, that is a position where you're not supposed to cross or go beyond. Yes, for example, if I am here, and this is my table, and this is another space, this is my boundary to this space. I'm just supposed to be here and talk to you the way I am talking. Yes. So, which areas at home do you think we need to put some boundaries? Now, let me read, let me show you some words here, and you read them, okay? And I explain how do you need to put boundaries towards them. One is this, mom's bedroom. Your mother's bedroom or your dad's bedroom. It is out of bounds. Are we together? You are not supposed to get into that Bedroom without permission, okay? Because that is a place that belongs to your daddy and mommy. So before you get in, you have to do what? To ask permission. Whether they are in or out. If they are in, you knock. You knock. Yes, who's that? It is me, ma'am. Please, can I come in? And then your mom will tell you yes or no. And then you proceed to do what she tells you. That is one. Our mom's bedrooms or our parents' bedroom. Very important. It's not a toilet. Uh -uh. You go there with appointment. Okay. Thank you. Another thing is this. Read it. Yes, parents, home banks, and wallet. Eh? See at dad, I'm a catch a wallet. I'm a wallet up here and I'm going to go to the bathroom. 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 That is very wrong. 
It is a sin. And God does not allow that. And for you to prevent that, don't come close to that wallet. Put boundaries. Are we together? Are we together? I will ask you next time. Another place that we need to be so careful and put boundaries is deep open pits. That place is, you need to put boundary to such place. Because it is what? Dangerous. Because you can move around, walk around and fall in and die. Which is not right. So, let's keep off such place. Another place is fire and burning things. Where there is fire and where there is burning things. We are not supposed to go there as children. We are not. You keep boundary, you run away from there. Are we together? May it be outside or even in the house. If it's in the kitchen, don't go to the kitchen when they are cooking or when something is being cooked because it is dangerous to, for you. Thank you. Another one is a busy road. Say a busy road, yes, like the car road. Can you imagine you walking just across the, the car road like this? You across the, the car road like this? No, 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 no. That is dangerous. So let's avoid that. Make sure when you want to cross the road, you look left, right, left. Or right, left, right. You make sure it is clear there's no any vehicle. And then you do what? And then you cross. So those are the areas we need to put boundaries. And it is my prayer that this week, as we are going to school and to do other things, we are going to set and put boundaries to some things. Things that are not concerned with us, let's put boundaries to them. Yes, we have got no option. Kama kitu haikuhusu, weka boundary, sema siendi hapo. Atinjoka mekuita muende mcheza nini? Kati. Na ukona homa kujamaliza. Sema no, siyezi enda kucheza katika sijamaliza homework. Apu make a boundary. You choose what is good for you. Are we together? Now, our memory verse will come from the book of Psalm. Chapter 1, verse 1. Wow, so easy. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. What does it say? It says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step of the wicked. That person is blessed. So what is the opposite? When you walk in the step of uh, a wicked person, you become cursed instead of being blessed. So our purpose is to be blessed. So what do we do? We need to be doing good and right things always at the right place at the right time. So the Bible says, blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take. You don't need to walk in the step with the or the steps of a wicked or standing where this sin can get you. So that one goes back where I said, you knew what? You run. Yes, you run to avoid that. Are we together? Thank you. Now, I want us to repeat this memory verse so that you can get it better. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. It says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Who can say that? Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Who can do that? Yes? Good. Read. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good. 
Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers. So the Bible has mentioned three things here or three types of people they can be. Mockers, wicked, and blessed. So, for you to be blessed, you don't need to be near the, uh, I mean, to walk in the steps of wicked or to walk in the company of mockers, if you want to be blessed. Are we together? Are we together? Yes. So, this week, I want to pray that as you start it, Whatever we have learned today, you'll never forget. We shall make sure we find a way of putting them together for you for reference or for future purposes. Are we together? So may close our eyes as we pray. Father, we thank you. We come before you once again, King of Glory. We say thank you for the good time, O oh Lord, that you have had. Your lesson, O oh my Father, what you have learned. King of glory, it has been of beneficial to us. Father, as we have learned, King of glory, I pray that, Lord, these children, they may take it and use it. That, Father, you may control them, you may take, take good care of them, lead them, and all glory shall be unto you. It's in our Jesus' name. I pray and believe. Can someone say amen? Shout amen. See you next Sunday. Come to church. I'm hoping you are going to come to church. And I pray that God is going to keep you so that you come to church. We learn together with other children. Are we together? Yes. God bless you so much. Say hi to mom and daddy. For those who have not been with us there, please when they come, say hi to them. Tell them, teacher, Caleb has said hi and you are blessed. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. See you next Sunday. God bless you.